Hello Capricorn. Capricorn, welcome to your reading. Let's have a look to see the messages that the Divine wants to give you in this timeless reading. As always, it is important for you to understand that these messages are general and to use your own wisdom and your own discernment as you're listening to this reading to grasp the messages that are meant for you and then to go and take the action that you need to take. So straight away, we have a couple of cards that are wanting to come up and communicate with you and talk to you. Okay, again, if you need your own personal reading done, my website is in the description box below. The divine is coming in with the energies of the five of pentacles. The five of pentacles is not exactly a fa favorite card. Anything really with the number five brings challenges. And so for some of you, you're currently going through some financial challenges. Maybe some of you, even it's your health. But the divine wants to come in and say, even if you're experiencing challenges at the moment, the more you are in this energy like this, as you can see on our card, the more you're not going to be able to see the solutions that are around you. So lift up your head and you're going to be able to see that the key to open the doors of opportunities are right there. So it is important for you to shift yourself energetically and as you shift yourself energetically and bring yourself into a different state, into a different vibration, the solutions that are meant to help you are going to appear. The divine is saying to you, it is important for you to understand that there are some major changes that are going to be happening, connected to your wealth, connected to your health, connected to your resources, because you have a major kind of card of the wheel of fortune that is here. And the Wheel of Fortune is wanting to tell you that whatever darkness that you are currently experiencing at the moment, this darkness is going to be lifting, is going to be shifting, and is going to be dissolving into something that you are going to be seeing. That this darkness, this moment in time was necessary to propel you forward into a new beginning. Because this is the energies of the wheel of fortune. It's about the challenges, but not allowing the challenges to destroy you. Not allow the challenges to steal your joy. Not allow the challenges to steal the fire out of you. Because Capricorn, the fire is needed. Because fire helps us create. So the energies of the wheel of fortune is saying to you that the winds of change are here. There are going to be some major changes that are going to be happening. So it is really important for you to lift up your head and to start looking and to start understanding that you have to take action. You have to roll the dice. Lady Luck is here wanting to transform your challenges into something that is lighter, into a new beginning, if we're frank. A new beginning, again, connected to your money, connected to your health. Because now we can see that you have been proactive. You lifted up your head from the energies of the five of pentacles. You understood that the challenge that you experience, even though you might be feeling stuck, even though you might be feeling lost, even though you might be feeling uninspired, the divine said, reach deep within yourself and find that inspiration and throw the dice, roll the dice. So you allow a new beginning to come in that now activates the energy of the Knight of Pentacles. So can you sh see that you are shifting your energies towards something that is going to pay off? The Knight is saying to you, you have to be brave. No matter what you're experiencing right now, you have to be brave because the changes that are wanting to come in require you to take some steps. As you can see, our Knight is taking some steps towards something. And I love the fact that the energies of the Wheel of Fortune and the energies of the Knight of Pentacles, they are the same. So they are re-emphasizing that shift from this depressive, heavy type of energy that is here and shifting into something that brings a smile to your face. So the energies of the Knight of Pentacles is saying to you that please be proactive about your financial situation. Go and apply for those jobs. Go and move. Go and do something. Roll the dice. Do something different. Bring a shift 
to your situation, bring a, an energy that is different. And in that difference, this is when you can be able to make this transition into the energies of the Knight of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles is bringing your health, is bringing resources, is bringing a new beginning. But the new beginning that is here sees you creating new foundations that are firm and solid. Because after you've gone through challenges, you don't want to keep on experiencing challenges after challenge. So you now start looking at things in a different way, wanting to bring the stability into your situation. So the divine is saying to you, as you are shifting, as you are moving, it is important for you to understand that growth happens slowly. It takes time to build a solid foundation. And it might seem to you that at the beginning, as you are building that foundation, as you're digging that foundation, as you're putting the hard work in, it might seem that your efforts are not being rewarded. It might seem like nothing is happening. But the divine is saying that your efforts will be recorded because remember, slow and steady wins the race. And not only that, when you take time to create a solid firm foundation, once it is time to build, the building goes up really fast. The longest part of a building is the foundation because if the foundations are weak, what you build on top of that is just going to topple over and fall. And then you have to go back to ground zero to start again. So the divine is saying it is going to be important for you to take your time. There isn't a rush. You are going to get there absolutely. So take your time and understand that the day that you plant a seed is not the day that you're eating. The seed has to germinate. The seed has to root. The seed has to grow. And then after a while, you can eat. So understand that the challenges that are here, the transitions are coming in. The changes are absolutely coming in. And not only that, the changes that are coming in are connected to luck because Lady Luck is going to be walking with you as you are going in a new direction. So the divine is saying it is important for you to leave behind whatever you need to leave behind. Leave behind situations that are not going to be helping you. And whilst you're there, leave behind the baggage. Whatever needs to be left here, leave it here. How you get in your own way, self-sabotaging behaviors. Look at yourself, ask yourself, why am I carrying this into my future? The energies of the Six of Swords is a reminder that as you're shifting, as you are moving, your guides, your ancestors, your guardian angels are going to be here helping you. So it isn't going to be important for you to listen to divine guidance as it's coming in because the swords are information that operate on the mental plane. So information is going to be coming in that you need to take, you need to understand, and you need to take action. And as you do that, yes, it might be challenging at the beginning as you're making that shift, but fear not because the shift that you are going to be making is going to be allowing you to enter in to new chapters that are here. You are shifting, you are moving, you are breaking down chains, you're breaking down barriers. You are doing a lot. So it is important for you to understand that new beginnings are going to be coming in. But once you've made the shift that is here, the passion, the fire, the drive is going to come in because you're going to be dissolving. You're going to be breaking chains and you are going to be shifting into new beginnings because this is the aces. The aces are new. So the divine is saying to you, as you are rolling the dice that we spoke about earlier, as you're rolling the dice that is here, ask yourself, what makes me happy? What do I feel passionate about? And go and do the things that you feel passionate about. Go and do the things that make you feel alive. Take a chance on you. But at the same time, ask yourself, what brings me joy? And go and do it. Because when you do things that make you feel alive, this allows the bondages, the chains to start falling away, to start breaking away. So the divine is saying, ask yourself what makes me happy, what makes me come alive. Even for myself, I'm starting to 
think of different things that bring joy to me that don't necessarily mean that they're going to make me money, but they bring me joy. They make me feel alive. And as I do them, my readings are much more powerful. I feel at peace. I feel grounded because I, I allow myself to do something that is not monetized, that is not connected to making money. So the divine is saying, allow your soul, your spirit, a moment to express itself. And as you do that, this allows some chains, some bondages to break away. Because for some of you, you feel that every action that you need to take has to be bringing you something, has to have tangible results. You have to have something to show for it. And this is not true. Sometimes our souls needs permission to express themselves. Our souls needs permission to come alive. And as our soul, our inner beings come alive, this is when we start seeing solutions that pop in as if from nowhere because the chains break and fear gets dissolved because in your spirit, you feel powerful, you feel invincible, okay? So the Wheel of Fortune being here is saying to you, your passion, your fire, your drive is important as you roll the dice as you go in a new direction. And it's interesting, as we are clarifying the energies of the Knight of Pentacles, you have the energies of the Five of Wands. Remember what I told you? I told you the number fives are not my favorite type of energy because they bring chaos. They bring uncertainty. They are just a complicated type of energy. And so having the energies of the Knight of Pentacles being clarified with the Five of Swords is quite interesting. So the divine is saying to you that as you're shifting, okay, as you're going in a new direction, maybe you start working for a new company, you start doing something that you're really passionate about. It is important for you to understand that you could face some competition. Some of you, you could face some haters, okay? You could face people wanting to bring you down because the energies of the fives are competition, the five of wands in particular. is competition. It's just like petty, sort of, you know, fighting, maybe gossiping, but the divine is saying to you, don't waste this passion, don't waste this fire, this creative energy, engaging people who are just wanting to take your energy and waste it on something that is not worth it. So you could be seeing that in the next couple of weeks or so, there are just fights that come up. They're just like annoying type of energies that could be triggering you. The divine is saying, don't waste your time entertaining these energies, entertaining the five of wands, but instead take the fire and use it to create something that is going to bring you something in return. If people are gossiping about you, stabbing you in the back, let people do the things that people do. That is none of your business. What people say about you, what people think about you, don't even waste your time going and addressing them because your energy is going to be needed to create this new beginning connected to the Knight of Pentacles. And if you are taking this creative fire that is here and you are using it to fight, to defend yourself, against people who have already made up their minds what they think, what they feel about you, who are invested in misunderstanding you, you are wasting your time. You are wasting the gifts that Lady Luck is wanting to bring towards you. So the divine is saying, don't waste your time on things that are going to give you nothing in return. If a situation is triggering and you are tempted to engage, draw back. Don't engage, but ex instead reflect on why you feel the need to engage. Why you feel the need to pour petrol on the fire that is here. Why are you wasting your petrol is the question that the divine is wanting to ask you. So if people are lighting fires, don't get involved. You do not have to respond to every fight that is sent towards you. If people want to gossip, let them. They're wasting their time, not yours. 
you have bigger fish to fry. So focus on the fish that you're frying. Because with the energies of the Wheel of Fortune and the Knight of Pentacles, the Divine is saying that lucky breaks are on the cards for you. So this is why it is important for you not to waste your creative energies on things that are designed to just steal and harness your energies and waste them. Okay. So if you're listening all the way to this point, I want you to comment the dice in the comment section below and confirm that you will be taking some action. You'll be inviting Lady Luck to go on this journey with you where you're going to be seeing your money growing and growing and growing over time. Okay. So Sagittarius, this is the message that I have for you. And again, I forgot to remind you that we have our solstice candle magic ceremony that is happening on the 22nd of December. You are invited to come and be part of that powerful ceremony. This is one of the most powerful days that we have in the year. So again, I invite you to come and be part of that if you can. Everything that you need to know is in the description box below. Personal readings in the description box below. So on that note, I'm going to see you very soon. And it is a goodbye from me.